What I'm about to do is go to Walgreens. They got something amazing, really gigantor-ish for the collection. And yes, I said Walgreens. Probably pack the biggest punch when it comes to price and size. Are they here to do the same thing I am? Oh, workout, guys. <laughs> is that your thumbnail? What? Tika, 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 Tika. Anna J. Gonzalez, Mysterio. Some older AEW. Tika, Tika, Tika. Ah, he won't stay up there. We got Rollins. You got to do that. Ah, Mr. Freeze. Mr. T and Mr. Freeze. Got a cane. Go check out our buddy, Man Cave. Got an awesome signature from one of his top five wrestlers of all time. We got Tuscan Raider. Got some old guys. Come on, man. Drop the, drop the princess. Got some retro. This guy's wrong area. Pig head. So I got the 40th pig head. Got a stink or mosquito or stink or got an Andre back there. I don't know. I'm gonna stop. Do I got a chase? Regular tie fighters. Regular X wings. Sans Fentress, her ship. King Gray School. Ooh, anything down here? We got Vaders and some Falcons. Ned and Peter two packs. King 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 Gray Schools. Yep. Mando. Chase, not Chase. Cool. All right. Well, got some stuff. That's always good to see. There you go. Cue the granddaddy. <laughs> T-Rex. This is a great T-Rex. I still have mine in box. Going to keep him there till I find my area to display him. Uh-oh. Am I going to get copyright strike for the ABC song? Go ahead and sing it. Put it in the comments. Say, I sang along with the ABCs. Let's go spin it. Spider-Man and spin it. Three. Three of them. There's a sister. Wrong area. Some uh, stealth suit Spideys. Mummy. Retro. Legends. We got them all. Want to have... Oh. No. No bait. Got a gun. Oh. Movie Joe's, Spite, not Spidey, Snake Eyes, Cobra Commander, and the Roadblock Body Massage. All right, some gold label. Gold label DC, Ocean Masters, and the New Wonder Woman. Someone asked me if I got the this. Not yet. I want to. Oh. We've seen this a couple times, but... Uh, no, our buddy Zach Jack Dan still looking for it. Let me know, man. Want me to grab this for you? <laughs> Help me check the paint apps. <laughs> All right, let's see what NECA has. I like that. Let me see that. Mm -hmm. Let me see that. These are actually, I like mine. Is that they just got Kent or Ryu? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just Ryu. I like it. I like the setup. The Chun Li, you need a Blanca and an E Honda. Yeah. Is this the chase? Is that the chase? Look at that face. We got him. 
What do you got? Jack Skeleton? Mm -hmm. Hello there. <laughs> That's it. Did you check for your Funko Pop Gold Chase? Like it matters. Nope. Common, common, common is the way. Got some haunts down there. Those are probably on sale. Mm -hmm. Those haunts. Oh, Terminator T2. Mm -hmm. Set. Like that's it right there. Got the Karloff mummy. Oh, a little, a little, mm -hmm. ex a little, a little explosive in your life. Mm -hmm. I love this set. I really do. Obvious reasons. Obvious reasons. You guys that know me. What about this guy? Mm -hmm. Wow, not that guy. Look at that. Listen to what that kid said. It's exactly what the kid said. <laughs> Gremlins, new batch. There's your bus stop. All right, let's go see what else they got. Mandos. Oh, and a droids. Oh, yeah. Mando and droids. Mando droids. Some uh, rescue. Is that Alfred? Yep, Alfred. Alfred in a black and white Batman. So we are up in the Columbia area. We just went through that Target. We need some breakfast. So I wonder if the I wonder if it's an exotic breakfast place. Lizards. Real country though. Real country lizards. Let's go check it out. We'll let you know.
<laughs> you got cash? <laughs> Is that the Eternia? You're gonna buy me that Eternia? Which one? I don't know. Look at that, Mr. T. This is for Sentry the Mad Collector. Seriously. Look at that. What about this one right here? Bing, bang, boom. The best builder figure. Avalanche. Frankie. Oh, Frankie. Frankie. Look at these comics. Thank you. You give me, give me a hot toy while we're here. Huh? No? You gonna get me this Iron Man or that Hulk Buster back there? Escape from New York. It's Escape from New York. Ooh, Dark Crystal. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? No, I'm going to pass on that. Wait for clearance. Yeah. Destroy all monsters. <laughs> That Bubba Fit is sweet. That Iron Man. Look at this. Oh, you got your, your lunch pails? Mm -hmm. You got your Lone Ranger? <sighs> yeah, a lot of comics. A lot of comics. Let's see what's over here. Yep, the Godzilla. Death dealer. So you got your Highlander. Oh look, is this the Zorbo? Oh, what? That's awesome. Look at that Zorbo head sculpt. I like it. it just says death. <laughs> death. The creep. Don't be a creep. Big Star Wars. Oh, I love that. You don't see those too often. You don't see those too often. Duke Nukem, wow. Uh. Oh, look, Ralph. <laughs> oh, he's got a piano. Look, but look, he's got the whole set. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Comes with a Benny. Hmm? All right. 
So what are we looking at? That, for sure? All right. We'll do that. But I just see this. That's the new Snake Eyes Timber. Miami. Yeah. Yeah, this is the white timber. Uh, I don't know which one I need and want. Need and I want. There's a Yoda. See, 19. I could use him. Who? Yeah, let me go talk about that one. You said that's not Man Cave Spirit? That's not Man Cave Spirit. Maybe it's Man Cave Spirit when he's had a rough day. <laughs> <laughs> Rough day on the court. Yeah. <laughs> Zach Jack Dan. Him and Zach Jack Dan going at it on the on the basketball court. Now we're not gonna say who won, but a lot of hard work put in. <laughs> Look at that black series. That thing is huge. There's no way. All right, guys, like we said, we had to come up to Columbia for a little business. And you can see right there, Heroes and Dragons right here in the Columbia area. Got to check them out. Awesome dudes. A lot of comics. A lot of awesome figures. New and vintage. The cases were stacked and packed. They have boxes of new stuff coming out. They had a Galactus in there like you guys saw. So you guys got to come out and check out Heroes and Dragons if you are in the columbia area which is kind of like right in the center of south carolina so um we are an hour and a half i guess from charleston area but on the way home we might hit up a few more stores so hang tight and let's see what else we can find there ain't nothing like a sunday morning hot tip hot tip jesse we have axwells but don't have figure and dan yeah Add to the band, figure and Dan. Good enough for me. Super score on a super Sunday. Hunchback. Mandos. Mandos. I'm gonna scan that. TVC. I'm looking for T-Ball. Uh, 
Okay. Need the T-bow. Don't need the T-bow. Getting the T-bow. Clarify. Mm, some retro. Motu. Man. Bend that one. Bend that one like Beckham. Stick or back there. Still no Tila. Need the Tila. That needs to go on clear so I can grab it. Here we three pack. It's pig man. Unpunched. Unpunched. I'll leave him. Well, we'll put him there. After that, it's up to them. Well, there you go. <laughs> Let's see. Transformers, same. DC looks the same. Some Joker Titans. Got three of them. Adam Smashers, three of them. No new G.I. Joes. Uh, Black Adam Page Punchers. This is pretty cool. Uh, there you go. Look at the paint apps on that stealth suit. Exactly. My sentiments, exactly. All right, guys. We got Thor up there. Can you guys get the new Galactus? We got Spinneret, Spidey. I like that two pack. Some Wakanda Forever. We got an Elvira hanging out. Another Spinneret. Let's help out. Let's help out a little bit. Hey, yo! Welcome back, guys, to the channel. JB's Toy Trunk. JB in the car. Trunk is back there. What I'm about to do is go to Walgreens because they don't have just anything for me. They got something amazing, really gigantor-ish for the collection. And yes, I said Walgreens. I didn't say anywhere else. Walgreens. The wall to the 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 one store where I did the shortest toy hunt in in my toy hunting short career. Um but this one should probably pack the biggest punch when it comes to price and size. So, leaving work, headed to Walgreens. We'll see you guys there in a second. Ladies and gentlemen, probably, and I'm hoping the best toy hunt at a Walgreens this year, really ever. Um, look, everybody's here too. Are they toy hunting as well? I don't know. Let's go in here and find out. We're gonna go find a nice parking spot. Man, this place is packed. Are they are they here to do the same thing I am here at this Walgreens? And let's go find out. Okay, it is about five o'clock. And we got the music, the Walgreens music going. No music copyright. So let's check the aisle. Is it down over here? Toys and games next to baby food. Ooh. First time seeing a Baron Zemo. Yeah. That's pretty cool. My first time. Don't need them. That's pretty cool. Look, he's got a window. You can see him. He's a long side. Oh. Some binaries. What's with the uh, Walgreens exclusives today? I haven't seen this katana in a while. Got two of them. That's a good score right there. All right, so, okay, I don't see what I'm looking for. Let's go up front and ask. See boxes, see boxes, no boxes. Excuse me. I work out, guys. <laughs> you guys can see. <laughs> oh. 
Is that your thumbnail? Well, 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 look at what the Walgreens in Azalea had for me. If you could see it right back there, it is a big box. It is a huge box. It is, well, I was kind of upset they had it, you know, when the arrows face up. Not all the time. Only when it's something that's a couple hundred bucks and you've been waiting a year for it. You know, they're just going to put it where they want to. And then, of course, when I say, hey, let me go pick up my package, they're like, let me go look for it. I'm like, it's that big thing. right there. Oh, so you're the one who got this big box. That's right, Walgreens. Thank you for helping out. I'm kind of disappointed with the arrow not being up, but we're going to check it out and inspect it. It looks like it hasn't been tampered with. That's right, everybody. Went to a Walgreens and did the most expensive and the biggest pickup probably ever in my toy hunting, uh, you know, lifespan. I'm talking from when I was a kid to now. Probably the first and only time I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to tell you the reasons why here in a second, but I see Marsha. She's right in front of me. We're going to eat and then we'll talk later. See you guys after dinner. Is this thing on? Can you hear me? What's up, guys? Welcome back to JB's Toy Trunk for the What's in the Trunk? What I Couldn't Get in the Trunk portion of the video. You saw us hunting up there in Columbia, South Carolina. Big shout out to Chris Barcode. He's uh, up in that area. And uh, he definitely said check out Heroes and Dragons. And the guys up there were tremendous. They had pretty much everything that we were looking for. We didn't go bananas on it. But we definitely uh, got a few things we're going to show you here in a second. You saw in that video also there was a Galactus. I don't know if you knew that there was a Galactus coming out. Maybe you heard it through the rumors. Maybe through the Grapevine. Maybe through the HasLab. You know, the, the Twitterverse. Whatever you guys want to call it. But yeah, HasLab Galactus finally started shipping out. And we were supposed to pick ours up that same day. Or excuse me. We were supposed to get ours delivered that same day. That we had to shoot up to Columbia. So I had to push the PALS button and say FedEx. I don't want you to just drop it off on my doorstep. So that's the reason why you saw me pick this joker up at the Walgreens. So yes, I can truthfully and honestly say that was my biggest and best haul from any Walgreens in the world. They actually had some exclusives there. They had the um, the Zemo and the, um, I can't even think right now. I'm just so excited that I got this. But basically they had some figures and they had this waiting for me for the FedEx pickup. So yes, I did pick this up at Walgreens and yes, uh, it couldn't fit in my trunk. It could, I just didn't want to lay it down and I put it in the back seat. So here we go guys, stick around. We're gonna do a quick haul portion slash mail call. Oh, there you are. Hey, welcome back. Here we go, guys. This is the actual toy haul and the mail call portion of the video. We're going to start smaller and work our way up. I'm going to start with, I think, some of the things I got at Target. Uh, I really can't remember. I know, I, I know I got these at Target. I just don't know what day or when I got it. So if you could see me over here at the other end of my room, we got some vintage collection figures. We got the uh, figure and Dan, which I'm going to probably get a couple of these for the band. And then we got ourselves a Tebow. So VC249. And then VC207 is the Tebow. I know with uh, Return of the Jedi, the anniversary coming up, these figures, uh, for me at least, I'm going to start piecing them together so I can start looking at uh, a Return of the Jedi type of little, you know, just a little uh, commemoration, I guess you could say, to one of the one of the great trilogy movies. So there you go, some little Star Wars TVC action. On that Sunday, we did go up to Heroes and Dragons, and I was just trying to, you know, get to know the store a little bit, and that was my first time there, trying to see what they had. Look for anything anything that popped our eye. Um, one thing that popped our eye that I actually asked if they had was a actual six-inch Black Series um, Tebow one of the Ewoks from Return of the Jedi. I know that this was on shelves like many times over and on pegs and I think one time at clearance at a Walmart and I passed on it saying I don't need an Ewok. Well, here you go, I need an Ewok so we can... <laughs> 
Look at that scale. This is just ridiculous. And think about it. This is laying down. You guys have already seen pictures of this, like, standing up. This is laying down. Oh, there you go. We picked up the Toei Spider-Man. Uh, I've seen this as a kid, the show. It's been a while, so I'm going to probably try to rewatch it. But I definitely wanted to get this to continue to add to my uh, Spider-Man collection. So after this, I am done for now. I don't think there's any more Spider-Men, Spider-People coming out that I want to add to uh, the collection. We have the Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man. Uh, he's swinging from my X-Wing fighter over there. And then I got the Spinneret and Peter Parker over there. So I'm good and a couple other Spider-People hanging out. So this will be great to add to the Marvel Legends collection. <laughs> Also adding to the, I guess you can say, Spider-Man-esque collection is the Marvel's Mysterio. I've seen him on shelves. I quickly and easily passed on him. I was like, you know what? Um, they had a pretty good deal up there at uh, Heroes and Dragons. And I said, let me go ahead and just pick him up while he's there. He is coming off card eventually. And I wanted to pick him up to add to uh, the Spider-Man collection. With all the Marvel Legends, yes. He's like, well, let me get one more thing. One more thing that I've wanted, and I found him finally in person, is the uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. So we'll see if we set up any type of cosmic space theme in the corner of the room. You know when you guys normally watch the video right there by the Shack jersey? That's where a lot of this stuff's going to go. We're going to create a nice little area. So Cosmic Ghost Rider... Another great deal at the guys over at um, Heroes and Dragons. So. Star Wars pickup today. Marsha asked me and found this TVC from the Mandalorian series. Din Djarin. Din Djarin um, Pedro Pascal. With the, um, when he's uh, dressed as the trooper, the driver. So that's going to be an awesome, you know, little add-in to the Mandalorian side of the house for the TVC. Thank you, Marsha. As I'm waiting on this, I have another FedEx type of tracking going on something that Walgreens sent out. Clone Trooper from the 187. That's right, 187. 187 clone. Got two of them from the Walgreens. Um, these are Walgreens exclusive, so there was uh, flashed up there. Shout out to, I think, Yakface that put it out. And uh, as soon as I saw them announce it, I went and found it and picked up two. We're just going to stick with two. Um, I think that's um, kind of like Angelo from Point Break. You know, give me two. And I think we're just going to keep it there. There's no reason, as you can see, to add any more. I mean, I thinned this out and there's still way too much going on. And I have way too much really to still put out. I am going to clear this out and then I am going to go ahead and open this bad boy up off for you guys. I'm not going to do too much of an overview of review, but we're just going to go ahead and put it out there. Here it is, guys. The HasLab Galactus in the trunk. I couldn't fit it in the trunk. That's crazy. A little bit of a glare there. Sorry, guys. Um... Just like they're saying, we're looking at 22 and a quarter wide. We are looking at right at 35 inches. And then the, this is just the box dimensions, eight and a half deep. Um, oh, they damaged my box pretty good. That's not cool. Well, since they damaged my box, I guess this thing has to come out. See that nice little ding right there. Golly, man. I really can't display this box anyways with Galactus in front of it. Not saying that I was going to or wanted to, but that's kind of unfortunate. Not kind of, very unfortunate. I'm not even going to say it's FedEx. It was probably, well, either FedEx or Walgreens. Thanks for nothing. But there's the back of it. A holy diorama. We got the front. Look at that artwork. Uh, I think this is the one I voted for. I'm just going to say I did it just to, so I could say I, I helped do this. <laughs> just kidding.
All right, guys, there you have it. This is Galactus. Um, it's a pretty epic figure. Um, the more and more I look at it and just slowly start messing with the articulation, it's a really tremendous figure. So I just wanted to point this out real quick before I grab the camera back into my hands and start actually doing some close-ups of the of the um, of Galactus and of course his heralds and everything like that. So these guys, these guys are actually pretty cool figures. Well, at least um, you know the uh, Morgan the Ray. I'll show this one a little bit closer up with uh, some pictures uh, once I get her her established into uh, Galactus's hand. And then of course Silver Surfer. I don't have this version of Silver Surfer. I know there's a lot of complaints saying that they could have done a better upgrade to it. I, I can see that. Um, I wish they would have done a little bit more of an upgrade to it, but not going to complain when you put this whole package together. It looks really great. So I'm going to go ahead and try to take off the head. Actually, I'm actually going to lay these guys down because my little fold away table will probably start falling off. So Head comes up pretty good. I'm going to see if we put the Doom head right on. There you go. There's your Doom head. And then while I'm here, let's look at the articulation. And you can hear the ratchets, bicep swivel. What I really like is the, um, the phalange articulation. It's really great. You can see right over here. He's giving you guys a enjoy the ride in life. And then over here, he wants to just crush your brains. Um, standing pretty good on his own. You know, I, I messed with the uh, the toe. We could do the whole, you know, the whole knee articulation. Different from our, different from our other Haslabs that we've been receiving. Pretty good, pretty good right there. Right in the back, I'll go ahead and pop the Doom head off. I'm not going to display with the Doom head. I'm going to go with the regular Galactus head, but and I'll show you guys when I film. But right in the back is the little port for the uh, two AAA batteries, and then I think right up top, right up top, his little can comes off of his head, and then you could get to the other AAA batteries right there. What's awesome is I knew I had AAA batteries, um, you know, some spare ones. But they're at work. That's a great place to have them when you're trying to show a Galactus off. So let me go ahead and put his head back on. Nice little positive click. And I saw some tips from other reviews. I can't remember who, so if I remember, I'll put it in there as a shout. But go ahead and just kind of peel his face off, kind of like um, Nicolas Cage face off. We're going to peel his face off. That's that grin or that, that kind of smirk. I want to go with the angry face. And I'll take pictures, guys, and put them up so you can see. That's probably the one I'm going to go with in the long term. But since it's Halloween, Since it's Halloween, we are going to go with the Skeletor face. I think this is this is pretty BA right here. I saw the guys up there at Heroes and Dragons. They had it with the Skeletor face. It looked really tremendous. I mean, that right there, the Zombie Galactus, huh? Right? What an idea. Um, speaking of Zombie Galactus... We got Zombie Cat. It would be awesome to have some other Zombie Marvel figures to go with it. So we never know. So real basic overview of my Galactus. I'm going to do more of posing and some pictures and a little bit more video with the different poses in here. But guys, um, very impressed with the Galactus and... I can't wait to display them. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this portion. I'm going to go to the store and then get some lights so we could go ahead and get that going. And then I'll finish off this video. So hang tight. Shout out to Century the Mad Collector for starting the 
toy hauls from the floor. Um, this one's because of obvious reasons. Galactus is a gigantor, and I had to start from the floor down. And you can see that I got my triple A's in there. Skeletor face. Hey, look, there's my He-Man stuff. Yeah, guys, I got my He-Man stuff on the ground. Sorry. There is our Silver Surfer. Let's focus in a little bit on this guy. Um, I'm going to use my flame effects or the side um, sonic effects, I guess, from the my other Silver Surfer, the Walgreens exclusive. So and here we go. Look at that hair. I'm going to do some pictures, hopefully with some better lighting to see if we could get that fire effect going. It took a little bit to get the, um, I guess the fire effect into the palms to hold it. And it does add some weight. So Galactus did have a little bit of a, a lean forward with it. But here guys, you could see a little bit closer the detail, there is an ab crunch in there. And it's got that soft, rubberized type of feel to it. And there's his, there's his legs down to his, his feet. And um, these come up a little bit as you get the, uh, the feet articulated to where you can to uh, get them to stand. So, epic figure guys. I mean, I just, I cannot say, I, th I don't know, is it like sound activated or are my batteries just that bad where he's going to be blinking? Is that a common thing? You can see there, those light up. I'm going to turn the lights out here and the next time I uh, cut this on. So let's pan out a little bit. There's the box. The dented box, I'll do better shots of the box. Look at that. You can see right here the Doom head sculpt. The eyes, it goes right in um, onto the head. It ports right in, no problem. But the light up feature doesn't carry over into the eyes. Um, like when you press it, the... The chest piece will still light up, the arc reactor, Galactus's arc reactor, but when the head is there, it won't light up. And then, of course, there's the Skeletor look. This is the, um, you took the chase look, or hey kid, give me back my dinosaur look, or how come... Lando is not on clearance yet. Whatever you want to add in there. Pretty good detail. Not pretty good. Very good detail when it comes to the paint. The shading. And let's see. See if we can get this going. See if he brushes his teeth. Yeah, it looks like he brushes his teeth. Not bad. Should, um... Hire him for a uh, Crest commercial. Or maybe like a regularly Spearmint, Double Mint Twins. Imagine if there's twins of these guys. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us here at JB's Toy Trunk. And our Gigantor Galactus HasLab from Marvel Legends. Um, yeah, I think it was about a year, year and a half ago when we put this guy on pre-order and of course when are we getting it when are we getting it we got it took a little while it was a nice little fiasco with walgreens and fedex so do me a favor leave it in the comments if you picked up galactus how are you going to pose them who you're going to pose them with um did you get more than one try to keep one in box and one for a, a rainy day i don't know let me know people do it and you do what you got to do i know for me we got one Look at that face right there. Look at this bad muchacho right here. 
Now, if there's going to be any bad gangster of plastic, I think it's going to be this guy right here. What do you guys say? I think uh, I think he takes it. And as far as for figure of the year, all the articulation, um, the light up features, uh, just the uh, the essence of having it, he might take it. I don't see why not. I mean, it's either him or Tika. Because Tika is just a short second when it comes to uh, price point. So, like I said, guys, thanks for hanging out. JB's Toy Trunk. You guys are awesome. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to leave comments. Let's talk about this. And, you know, if you want, subscribe. If you want, if not, it's okay. We appreciate you hanging out, watching the video, and hanging out with me and Marsha doing our toy hunts and joining us on our journey of awesomeness. I'm going to go ahead and say it awesomeness. So there you go, guys. Always enjoy the ride in life. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Can you say peace? Perfect.